and that. Um, and then it is this thought uh -huh. that if it is taken a step higher, then it becomes a tendency. Mm -hmm. Because at one point in time we have been, each person has been disappointed mm -hmm. at one time in life. And that disappointment becomes a, a, a thought that I'm no longer, you know, people don't value me. But then if it goes beyond the thought and you start asking then how do I just deal with myself, mm -hmm. then it becomes a tendency. Now, um, you've asked a critical question in the sense that we are now incognizant of the fact that there are now also mental disorders that are highly, make people highly vulnerable mm -hmm. to suicide. Mm -hmm. And these are the disorders that sometimes people say in such a family, you know, people tend to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. But it's not the tendency to commit suicide, it's an underlying mm -hmm. mental condition that is transferred to people because it's gen genetic, it's inherited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have all those kind of um, issues sur surrounding tendencies. Mm -hmm. um, then also, depending like now, the rise again we realize is as a result of, the, it's, it's, the barrier has been broken. Okay. So many people are taking their lives, so it's becoming a little bit easier and more comfortable because previously, a suicide person was being treated extremely different both in the cultural um, uh, society, but even in the religious mm -hmm. arenas. The burials were different, the, the, the mourning period was different, but now, because people do not, they are not, they are not able to report, mm -hmm. and they are also mixed, I mean, we are discovering that some people are committing suicide because of reasons not known to them, mm -hmm. and because of a, a, a medical condition. Mm -hmm. So now that uh, people are not being treated as stigmatizing as it was before, people are getting comfortable okay. with 